Giant African land snail is the common name used to describe any of the three snail species native to Africa and considered serious agricultural pets in the United States. The giant African snail, like the other two species, are large terrestrial snails that reach up to 20 cm in length and 10 cm in maximum diameter. These snails are about the size of an average size adult fist. The brownish shell with darker brown vertical stripes cover at least half the length of the snail. The giant African land snail is an unwanted visitor to the United States. Although it has been traded at flea markets and kept as a pet, the US Department of Agriculture has never issued a permit to import the snails. All of the snails in the United States are here illegally. As the name suggests, the giant African snail is native to Africa, but it has spread through accidental import and intentional smuggling. The first record of this snail in the continental United States dates back to the late 1940s in a California seaport. Here I will post some of the most frequently asked questions about the giant African land snail and their answers. Is it dangerous to touch a giant African snail? In the wild, the giant African land snails pose a serious health risk to humans by carrying the parasite rat longworm, known to cause meningitis in humans. The snails should not be handled without proper protection and sanitation. Pet snails are not dangerous, but before purchasing any snail, you should inquire about its origins, although this is standard advice when buying any animal. Are African land snails good pets? Giant African land snails make excellent pets and are easy to care for. They can live for around 9 years and grow as big as an adult hand. We need to provide a nice home for your new pets. Obviously, the more snail you have and the bigger they grow, the larger the habitat you will need to provide. What are the giant African snails eating? Snails are not particularly fuzzy eaters. You can feed them many fruits and vegetables. You can also try cucumber, apple, banana, melon, peach, tomato, lettuce, cabbage and carrot, to name but a few. If a snail isn't eating, try changing the food, because they won't eat food they do not like. Never feed your snails pasta, rice or anything salty. Make sure you throw away any uneaten food if it starts to go off. It is important that giant African land snails consume calcium to maintain their shell. This can be provided by a cuttlefish bone, natural caulk, crushed eggshells or a calcium supplement which is sprinkled onto their food. How are the giant African snails breeding and what you should do with the eggs? Many snails are hermaphrodites, which means that they have both male and female sex organs and two snails are needed for them to breed. However, in the case of giant African land snails, a single snail can also lay eggs without having mated. Snails can produce more than one clutch of eggs following mating. As a result, snails that have not been in contact with other snails for some time they still produce batches of eggs, assuming the snail was an adult when it was in contact with other snails. In general, it is best for inexperienced keepers to freeze any eggs for 48 hours and then either dispose the eggs or crush them and offer them back to the snails as a source of calcium and protein. Snail breeding should only be undertaken by more experienced keepers, as it is important to make sure that only healthy, genetically unrelated snails that are over two years old are allowed to breed.
how to clean the snails. Snails like to be handled and to have a wash. When handling your snail, it is a good idea to have a wet hands. To wash your snails, see them in a shallow dish or saucer with a little tepid water and use a soft toothbrush or small sponge to gently clean the snail, being careful not to damage the shell. Never submerge your snail as it could drown and of course never use any cleaning fluids. Tap water can be safe for the snail, but it depends on where you live and how much chlorine and other chemicals there are in it. If it's safe for you to drink it in large amount, it also won't be a problem for the snail. African snails poisonous to dogs? When it comes to eating snails, they generally are non-toxic, but that's not to say snails can cause problems. In fact, snail consumption can cause a major health issue in dogs, lungworm infestation. Lungworms can cause coughing as well as more severe respiratory problems, such as bronchitis or difficulty breathing. What temperature do they prefer and where are they hibernating? Giant land snails love warmth around 21 to 25 degrees Celsius and a heat mat is really a good idea, particularly if keeping the snails somewhere which can get a little cool. If they get too cool, the snails will hibernate by going inside the shell and forming a crust over the entrance. You can wake them up by keeping them warm and gently running the shells under tepid water. Once the snails are happy with the conditions, they will become active again. Why giant African snails pose a threat? Giant African snails are highly invasive, adaptable creatures that constitute a significant threat to the agricultural crops, natural resources and human health. Released into the environment, they are known to consume more than 500 types of plants, including many common vegetables, fruits and ornamentals. They are even known to eat house paint and stucco. Giant African snails also can carry several plant and animal pathogens, including a parasitic worm capable of causing meningitis in humans. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you know other interesting facts about the giant African land snails that I forgot to mention, please write about them in a comment below. And remember that you can help our channel to grow by just pressing the like button and by sharing this video with your friends.